Hey everybody, this is Brandon with High Gear. Today, we're back to showcase another upgrade for your Jeep. I want to talk about the BA10 Peugeot 5-speed versus the AX15 5-speed. The BA10 is a 5-speed that came in your Jeep Wranglers, your Cherokees, and your Comanches from 87 to 90. So the 4.0 motor, it was uh, in 87 to 89, and the 4.2 was 87 to 90. The BA10 is an old, outdated unit. Uh, it's got some differences internally, and it's got some differences externally than the AX15. The main difference is the uh, synchro assemblies. On the inside, your synchro assemblies are a cup and cone design. It is a poor design. They are made out of aluminum. They're not made out of brass, which is a very common material for synchros. And they're not made out of steel that's fiber live, which is another common material. So because the aluminum is soft, they fail. It causes sticky shifting. It causes uh, shifting issues, grinding. Ultimately, they fail. So in order to upgrade your Peugeot to an AX15, there are a few things that are the same. There are a few things that are a bit different. So let's talk about the things that are the same first. So your bolt pattern for your transfer case is the same. Your transfer case is going to bolt right up. All right. Now, your spline count for the input is going to be the same. Your pilot shaft diameter and length is going to be the same. They're both internal slave, so you don't have to change your slave cylinder. That's going to be the same also. Now let's talk about the differences real quick. There are a few differences, things that you're going to have to know in order to swap them out. You're going to have to have a shifter stick and stub. The AX15 shifter stick and stub is four bolt, not three bolt. It will not interchange, so you're going to have to have a shifter stick and stub. You're going to have to have a bell housing, although the motor side of the bell housing is the same, the transmission side of the bell housing is different, so you have to have a bell housing. Now, another issue is the output shaft splines are not the same. You have a 21 spline output shaft for the BA10. You have a 23 spline <coughs> for the AX15. What that means is, is that although your transfer case will bolt right up, you're going to have to swap out your transfer case input. And you can do that one of two ways. You can either take the input that we supply with the swap kit and you can swap it yourself or you can send your transfer case into us and we will swap the input for you for an additional charge. Now, another issue is the rear mount location for the cross member. We supply this rear mount kit, which is a relocate mount kit. It bolts to the bottom of the AX15 and allows you to still use your original cross member and mounts that come off of the BA10. So everything in the kit we supply with the AX15, the shipper stick and stuff, the bell housing, the rear mount relocation, and the input. Um, other than that, it's plug and play. I mean, you buy the kit, you use the same clutch, use the same slave cylinder, swap the input out, bolt everything right up, it goes right in. If you have any other questions, just give us a call at High Gear, 901-278-0090. My name is Brandon. You can speak to me. You can speak to my brother Cody, who runs the day-to-day -day operations. He also loves Jeeps and knows everything about them. Or you can talk to our salesman, Bert. Feel free to give us a call or check us out on the web. Thanks for watching.